Hello everyone, welcome back to Freeloading. This week we're taking on Pinball Arcade. Uh, so initially when this was released on Xbox Live Arcade and uh, PS3, it was not free to play. Uh, I think Vita was also in that uh, batch of early stuff. Uh, you had to buy uh, the basic table pack, which, uh, just trying to see if I can figure out which of those it was. Um, I think it was, let's see, what, which one's here? Okay, we got a bunch of this stuff here. Um, it was Ripley's Believe It or Not. Uh, I don't think it was Space Shuttle, I think it was a different one. Um, Tales of the Arabian Nights, Theater of Magic, and... Was it Big Shot? No. Black Hole. Black Hole was the other one. Uh, those came with it. Uh, obviously they have their own uh, table goals. I think at some point this whole interface got changed up. And so my goals got reset here. Um, but yeah, they're on season six. I think they're done with season six now. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have all of these. Uh, mainly because they don't put the tables on sale very often. So uh, they also have these challenges sort of challenging you to... Uh, I don't know what what this specifically is, something that's fairly recent. Um, let's just play some of the tables that I do have. Yeah, so there's six seasons. I think I have one, two, and three. Uh, they just don't put them on sale enough, so let's go with just some of the coolest stuff here that I have. Um, where is it? Uh, Twilight Zone's pretty cool. Cross over into the Twilight Zone. Uh, they also have like pro versions of these tables, which gives you the uh, yeah, the table menu stuff where you can mess with uh, various settings. Yeah, it's telling me I don't have it, so uh, you can mess with a bunch of different settings and all that. It's sort of the table, the the operator's menu that they have, so let's just hop in here with this one. Uh, this was one of the tables that got uh, supported on Kickstarter. Okay. Oh. Yeah, let me change camera. Uh, let's see. There we go. Oh, and I screwed that up. <laughs> Uh, nothing. Okay, 13 million. Uh, there was a point in pinball... Uh, in the pinball scene where... They just threw points at you for days. I think Theater of Magic is one of those games. Uh, where my high was in the hundreds of millions. If not, maybe a, a billion or two. Oh. Yeah, this doesn't have any ball save options. Uh, not playing well. I just have not played uh, some of these tables in quite a while. And others I just haven't played at all, just because there's... Yeah, that's that's just poor play on my part. Uh, yep, I think we're over. Yeah, I kind of wish the match stuff actually worked. Uh, where it essentially just chooses... Uh, yeah, let's see if I can do better on this one. Alright, that. Okay, we got the car. Seven half. Ah, crap. And yeah, if you want to learn like what what all is going on with the table, uh, help I think has it. Mm, nope. Where's it at? I think that's at the very beginning. And you can sort of, it'll run you through all the different parts of the table, what they do, what the mechanics are, all that. Uh, sort of what all the different blinking lights. Oh, stuck. Uh, you can knock the ball 
out of play. That's what that call attendant option is for. And yeah, uh, they've done Kickstarters for some of these tables because the license is uh, expensive enough that it would require them to charge more for it than a normal table uh, in a way that would make it really hard to make any money. So uh, thankfully the community has been uh, good about uh, backing that. Uh, you get the table uh, plus some other stuff uh, potentially depending on how much you put in. Uh, I've backed most everything. There might have been one or two that I have not backed. Though I also have that stuff, uh, yeah, the setup I think is where... You unlock this door with the key of imagination. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know where that is. Okay, we got standard goals, yeah. Uh... I thought you could look at this stuff and say, hey, you can call attendant, and they can fix things uh, for you. No. Oh, I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, no. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, let's exit out. Oh, no, it's here. Table menus. Okay. Instructions. And here it can explain all the different mechanics for you. It'll show you, okay, you do this, and then this, and then that. And that's the light gumball stuff. Uh, so let's back out. Uh, Black Knight. I thought I had Black Knight 2000. Maybe that's not on this version. I'm gonna have it on PC. This was sort of one of the early uh, you know, split level playing field. Uh, feature the first ever Magna save. And uh, yeah, you get some cool information on sort of the history of these tables. Black Knight 2000 has some amazing music to it. I definitely recommend looking up the Black Knight 2000 theme on YouTube. It is amazing. It's sort of the epitome of... I think it was in the 70s? Uh, what's going on? Did I just break it? Oh. No, I was waiting for me to put another ball in. I got it locked. That's real good at doing that. Yeah, this is an older table, as you can tell by the fact that there's maybe enough room to get in the single-digit millions. Yeah, uh, I'm not too good at this. I have to put more time into some of these to sort of get, uh... Uh... Hey, where's the Star Trek one at? Yeah, there's Avira tables. Uh, Star Trek is another one of the legendary tables. Uh, that's Twilight Zone. Uh... Welcome to the Enterprise. Launch a probe. Okay, what do we got? The probe has discovered nothing. So. I like tables where you can sort of lock the ball into some sort of cannon type thing. And, uh. Launch a class one probe. And try and shoot it into some special spots. Uh. Five million. Come on. Oh, oh, no. Good luck. Extra ball at 450 million. Yeah, that's a reasonable amount of points. There we go. Yeah, I want to say they're working on... Oh, uh, number seven. 
with season number seven. Uh, I'm not sure if they have announced anything from that yet. I could look it up since I've got their newsletter. Okay. Didn't do too good. Uh, let's see, what's the latest one say? These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Yep. Yeah, I want to say my... Yeah, Terminator 2, Adam's Family, Doctor Who, those are all Kickstarter games. I th I want to say the credits are specifically to have backers in it. Yeah, there you go. I don't think my name is in that. I don't think I paid enough for that. I think I just paid for the uh, easy stuff. The just the game itself. Yeah, there's just some Black Knight music right there. great music to this. Eighty-nine. And here's some of the flyers. Just some really cool stuff to it. Uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Oh, deep pad. Okay. He rides again from Williams. Yeah, Williams, Bally, Midway. I forget what other t uh, companies they have in here. Oh, wrong one. Uh, let's start here, and we'll see how. Yeah, different types of balls you can get. Oh, table's not too different from. Oh, I did really bad with that one. One loop, two U turns. So it's kind of similar to the original, but they've definitely made some changes in a sense. definitely recommend uh, yeah, looking at that YouTube music uh, video for this theme. It's not really a music video, it's just a graphic with the, the music playing. War, it says up there, so I want... Oh, oh what's... There we go. These are all these little tiles, because we want to spell night. Oh crap. Uh, that's probably my best uh, best play of the day so far. Uh, how are we doing on? Yeah, they have a free table every month, I think, with the newer interface and all that. Yeah, that interface is very different. Uh, you can tell it that... Well, the PC version has a very different one. It's kind of tile-based, in a sense. Uh, just to take advantage of the, the fact that you have a mouse you can use for the menus. Yeah, so that's the trial stuff you can do. So you can play any of these, try it out, see if you want it. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, that's kind of the, the highlight of that season. 
Season 4. Yeah, there's Adam's family. Starship Troopers is on here. They have a lot more uh, licensed stuff. Phantom of the Opera. Jackbot, which come, uh, continues the whole... Uh, Bride of the Pinbots pinbot sort of thing. I think that's the similar type of bot to that. Uh, there's F-14 Tomcat. They've worked really hard and done a really good job of getting some of the top uh, play uh, pinball tables that are on, I forget, Pinball Fanatics? I forget what the site is called. There's like a, a general uh, well-recognized like here's where all the pinball fans uh, congregate to vote on what their favorite tables are. And they've done a good job of getting like most of the top ten, uh, even the licensed stuff that people thought would be really hard. Because like the Adams family has uh, a potential problem with uh, Raul Julia having passed away, and so his estate has to be involved with that. Uh, I think. There was some other one that was licensed that had potential problems because one of the actors is dead and did not want to... Uh, their estate did not want to work with them or take any money for it. I, f I figure what the specifics are. Maybe I have that table? And they had to essentially just change their look. I forget what it is, but, uh, how are we doing on time? Okay, we got a little bit more. Uh, let's, let's try out Black Hole, because this is one of the earliest, earliest pinball tables. It'll tell you here, I think, 81. Uh, very early in terms of pinball, as you can tell here, when, uh, you score numbers... Look how spaced out these pedals are. There we go. But it has like this... Oh. There we go. Tilt. It obviously has the tilt mechanics. Uh, you don't want to tilt too much, but... Like there was a situation where that happened. I needed the tilt. Oh crap. I want to see if I can get it down into there. Oop. There we go. I have to get it up in that spinner part. that up. Uh, I turned off the score there. Yeah, you can't get... Oh, you can get over a million, I'm sure, but it's not officially supported on the score. Ah, oh, crap. I'm messing that up. Uh-oh. Oh. Well, I guess 70s would be early. This just feels like a really old table. There we go. And so now it's upside down. You can see like the... Yeah, so we got our first goal done there. I'm sure knocking all these black hole tiles up there at the top. Oh, we're going back here. Get closed, I don't know what that means. I'd have to look that up. Just captive hole. Advanced multiplier. Gates open. Oh, oh. Get it, get it. I don't think we're going to get to 100,000. We got into the captive hole. Uh, it's there. And we're back up here again. 
I forget what table. I think... What is it? Family Guy? The official Family Guy table? That essentially has a mini pinball table. Not like this. Like an actual mini miniature pinball table. Uh, that you can play within the game. Not just like the second field uh, thing that's... I have not seen it, but it sounds like a really cool idea. Kind of weird that it's in a Family Guy table. But yes, still new pinball tables get made all the time. Uh, sometimes by repurposing others. Ah, uh, we messed that up. Okay, we did get uh, pretty good. Uh, let's see. So I made top five. The early trophies for this game. Let's see if I can bring that up. Okay, there's a lot of hidden stuff. These are from later seasons. But a lot of the early stuff was basically get a top five, complete all the standard goals, and I think complete all the wizard goals. Yeah, which is what the second tier of goals are. Uh, which is uh, pretty cool. It's it's a good bit of uh, play. Yeah, at some point I lost. I don't think I lost my save. I think it just reset the progress on the table goals. Uh, Elvira is another big. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything else really here that's amazing. Uh, I mean, a lot of these are really good tables. I'm just not... I'm just looking for some cool stuff to play. Cue Ball Wizard, Dr. Dude. I realize are really stupid names for some of this stuff. Funhouse is pretty cool. Come on in. And this one has uh, a big sort of mannequin head on it that talks. Rudy's the star of this table. He's talking animatronic, animatronic head response in real time to game events. I don't know if that was the first of its kind, but yeah, 10,000 units were produced. This was 99, or 1990. This is not a good look. There we go. Oh, there it is. I'm watching you. You definitely want to hit him. There's a point where you can fast forward time. As you can see, there's a clock right there. Hey, you want to hit him in the face. Uh, eventually, he'll go to sleep when it turns to night. And you want to do things while he's asleep. And we got two Rudy hits, so that gives us some extra points. I feel like a million. What? Yes, yeah, so this is kind of the main competition with the uh, Zen Pinball, Pinball FX people that they're going to be releasing Pinball FX 3. Okay, finals closes in 30 minutes. It's 11.30 at night. Ooh, let's go. Uh... And those tables are all fictional. They try to adhere to some sense of reality, but not to the degree that this... They are cool with doing more fantastical stuff, which is cool. Uh, there's a lot of really good tables there as well. 
that you could not do in real time with actual pill tables, at least not without doing some really innovative stuff in terms of physical builds of these tables, but that is uh, Pinball Arcade. There's just a ton of stuff here. Uh, let's see if there is a good way of showing how much these are. They're usually 20 or 30 bucks. Oh, it just said it right there. There we go. Uh, 30 bucks for the season three pack, which includes 10 tables. 40% off the normal price, which isn't too bad. Pro is 40. I'm not really a big fan of the pro stuff. That might just be me not being that into uh, having those extra stuff in there. And I would love to buy these. I'm just not going to buy them for 30 bucks. That's just a little bit much for me. Purchase for... I don't know why it's giving me a weird price on that thing. Yeah, 30 bucks. Another 10 packs. Maybe I get this one for free because I backed it. Maybe I redeemed a code at some point on this version. Though I might have done it on the PS3 and Beta versions. Nope. Huh, that's weird. That is weird, but... Uh, they do tournaments every month. Uh, the, the new one is not started yet. Uh, if you're on the the newsletter, they will send out details on that stuff. Like I see here in this email, the next one starts on the 25th. PSN has, let's see, Tales of the Arabian Nights, Earthshaker, High Speed, High Speed 2, Big Shot. Harley Davidson, Whirlwind, and Black Knight. So a lot of early stuff and a couple of others. Uh, I don't know why that isn't showing the actual leaderboards. Uh, but otherwise, that is Pinball Arcade. It's a really cool uh, way to experience a lot of these classic tables since obviously pinball tables are very hard to man maintain. They break down and their parts are not as easily replaced as they were, you know, 10, 20 years ago. The parts have just gone out of commission for a lot of, uh, out of stock and nobody's really making them anymore. Though with 3D printers now, some of these parts might be more easily replaced just through community uh, building these pieces and uh, offering them to pinball owners. Though there are other parts that I believe are a little bit more difficult to replace. And some of the, like the backlight uh, boards that are up top are getting replaced with like LCDs or LEDs uh, screens, just as a matter of being easier to maintain and all that. So uh, if you're really into the history of pinball, this is a great way to get into it. Obviously, you can start off uh, pretty easily with uh, the free stuff and then just buy up seasons as they interest you. And uh, Steam, they tend to have more sales there on the seasons. PSN, they, for whatever reason, have only been putting like one table on sale every month and it's maybe 20% off. Whereas, you know, like it said, 40% off for a whole season just to the full price you would be better off doing that than getting one individual table on sale unless that just happens to be the one table you want I don't know if that would necessarily be a thing that appeals to a ton of people so I hope they're not seeing you know a ton of sales out of that so that they kind of have to force themselves to put uh, more of the newer seasons on sale. That would be great to see. So I think with that, 
uh, this has been Freeloading featuring Pinball Arcade. And uh, we'll see you guys again next time.